you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great good morning children hello how are you all hope you all are fine and staying safely in your home i'm your computer science teacher miss rafat today i'm here to teach you computer subject this is my first video okay this is my first video of the subject first of all let me tell you that this is your book this is your computer book okay this is your computer book it apps kips publication it apps of class 4 pips kips publication okay i hope you all have purchased your books see these are the contents are you seeing it clearly okay now today we will start chapter 1 okay the chapter chapter 1 name of the chapter is input and output devices input and output devices okay okay so before starting this chapter first i'll teach you some basic knowledge of computer now children i think many of you is familiar with computer right and some of you also know how to work on it means how to type and all okay all of you know how to do typing and everything so let's start from the definition of computer so what is computer yes you can say computer stands for common operating machine purposely used for technological and educational research yeah correct you can say this now the definition of computer is computer is an electronic machine or device that accepts data and instructions given by the user processes them accordingly and gives meaningful result got it it means computer what is computer it is an electronic machine or device that accepts data accepts data means what it is accepting the data accepting the instructions from whom from the user so who is the user here the user who is the user here i am the user the person who is inputting the data the person who is giving the instruction to the computer is the user okay now after giving the data and instruction the computer process it the computer process the data after processing it gives the meaningful result okay it gives the meaningful result this is called computer got it now see the basic parts of a computer are see this is monitor you can see in between monitor is there speakers printer cpu keyboard mouse many things are you seeing these are the basic part of a computer next is working cycle of a computer how computer works see first of all input we are inputting the data as i have discussed in the definition of a computer first input means the user gives the input then the input the data the instruction is processed after processing it gives the meaningful result the information okay the data is going then who is processing the data the cpu is processing the data after processing by the cpu the output comes the result comes these are this is the working cycle of a computer now next i'll explain you what are the input and what are the output now in computer computer works by the help of software 
and hardware okay software what is software it is a set of instructions that helps the hardware to work in a desired manner and hardware it is the collection of all the parts that you can physically touch so software is a set of instructions that helps the hardware means hardware cannot work without the help of software okay and hardware means whatever the hardware is there you can touch it you can see it okay in short you can say hardware is that physical parts that we can touch and see so many examples are there regarding software and hardware see these are the examples of software means the software the application uh, which you are using in your computer so those application those softwares uh, applications are called softwares okay in your mobile also whatever the software you are downloading so those softwares uh, though, uh, whatever the application you are downloading that applications are called software hardware see these are the example of hardware monitor keyboard cpu scanner ups mouse and printer pen drive these are the hardware that you can touch and see next how the software and hardware are correlated with each other by the help of devices these are the devices so next come to the chapter now we will start chapter chapter 1 that is input and output devices input what is the meaning of input any idea input it means something to put inside okay input device something to put something to put inside see this is the definition of input device the devices through which we enter data and instructions are called input devices means what it means that the data what is data now what is data here data means the numbers the sentences words alphabets these are the data and instructions you are giving the instruction now to whom you are giving the instruction to the computer that what to do how to do you are giving the instructions to the computer so who is giving the instruction the user and who is the user i am the user i am giving the instruction i am giving the uh, entering the data so i am the user i am entering the data so what uh, by the help of the device you are entering the data giving the instruction that device is called input device got it whatever you are typing whatever you are inputting the data and instructions okay means you are giving the instruction to the computer by inputting the data are called input devices okay see the examples of input devices these are some examples of input devices keyboard scanner mouse see through keyboard you are inputting the data okay that's why keyboard is input device scanner through scanner you are scanning something okay mouse what is mouse mouse is a pointing device where you are pointing inside the computer that's why it is input device got it okay next is output devices output what is the meaning of output output means giving out the result output means giving out the result okay this is the definition of output devices output devices are the devices that display input and result which we get after processing are called output devices okay got it now means it display the result which is given by the user whatever the user is giving now the output devices what output device is doing it is giving the result 
after processing means after processing processing is done by the cpu after processing who is processing cpu we get the result after processing we get the result okay that is called output device examples of output devices are monitor printer speaker okay monitor through keyboard now see the example through keyboard you are inputting the data whatever you are typing through keyboard the monitor is giving out the result that's why monitor is output device okay printer you are printing out something you are putting the book inside in scanner for example now what printer is doing giving out the print out that's why printer is a output device speaker what speaker is doing giving out the sound sound is coming outside that's why the sound is not taking inside speaker is giving out that's why speaker is output de device okay understood up to here so i think all you have understood input device and output device yes okay so this is the first video of your chapter next we will teach i will teach you about cpu and its working and some homework i'll give you okay which you have to do in your computer copy and i'll upload that homework in your assignment go through it and do that homework in your copy thank you for today okay thank you